Hello, Alex James, bass playing Cheese Pimping Festival host here. Just wanted to take a moment to reflect on how much I love Chippy. What an incredible place. With a history that stretches right back into the mist of time. There's an Iron Age hill fort over there, there's Roman remains there, but Chippy High Street has an unparalleled place in pop culture. Did you know that? Um, Harper's, which was my favorite shop in the entire world, sadly, uh, sadly no longer with us, was apparently right next door to Ronnie Barker's antique shop. Uh, and every morning, Ronnie Barker apparently had a cup of tea with the guy who ran Harper's. And Harper's was a store where you could buy absolutely anything. Uh, and apparently one morning, the guy from Harper's <laughs> apparently sat down and said, you never, just, you, you never guess what's just happened. Someone came in and asked for four candles. Um, and that was the genesis of what's often voted uh, Britain's best ever comedy sketch. It's certainly one of my favourites. I had no idea that it was born uh, in Chippy. One of my favourite songs, many of my favourite songs, but a really pertinent one, um, Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty, was written and recorded in, uh, in Chippy Studios, where, where, where the dentist is now. That, uh, that hymn to leaving city life behind and taking up a life of quiet bliss and solitude in the, com in the countryside uh, was written right here along with the Bay City Rollers, but when they were like kind of One Direction um, were. Apparently there was a guy working in Harper's one day, <laughs> then he got a job at Chippy Studios the next day, and, there were, and the Bay City Rollers turned up to, 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 re to record, and there were huge crowds outside. I wish, I wish I'd been here to see that. The Crown and Cushion, the pub in the middle of the high street, was owned by Keith Moon, arguably, he was the drummer in The Who, arguably the greatest rock star of all time. Uh, the Pink Floyd, the drummer from Pink Floyd once said that of the 10 best nights of his life, at least seven were spent in the crown and cushion, and I can well believe it. Some of the best nights of my life, uh, hand on heart, have been spent with my family at uh, Chippy Theatre. I've seen so many great productions there. Uh, Sean Locke was outstanding. Michael McIntyre, was brilliant. I mean, we were so lucky, you know, that he, he it was that was a warm up for doing like a, a stadium show. You know, we're so lucky to get these big names names here. Um, Paul Daniels was absolutely brilliant. Gotta say, um, the kids love that as well. Um, that Jeeves and Worcester production earlier this year was about the last thing that uh, that I did uh, prior prior to lockdown. It was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. But my favourite, my favourite of all time. <laughs> Was, was last year's panto. I still I still kind of curl up in stitches sometimes, trying to recall. Do you remember when the dame was had the shoe stall and she was trying to she was selling shoes and she had like trainers with trains on and pumps with bicycle pumps sticking out and slippers with the banana skin. It was uh, it, it, that was <laughs> it still makes me laugh now and uh, we will really really miss not coming to the panto this year. It's. Uh, it's a highlight of Christmas and a jewel in Chippy's crown. And um, just wanted to let you know we're thinking of you. We love you, Chippy Theatre. Happy Christmas.